Hey guys, so I'm starting a series um, of story time videos, and uh, in this story time videos, um, uh, I am going to go through the different jobs that I've had. Um, so my first job is what I'm going to start with, obviously, because I'm going to go through from the first job to the last job, um, my current job. Just kind of talk about different weird things or stories, mini stories or whatever in each of those jobs. So the first job that I worked at was McDonald's and I was 16. My mom uh, told me <laughs> that I needed to get a job. I applied to be pla applied to be places. McDonald's was the first place I heard back. I uh, applied and I thought I might have a decent, uh, a decent chance of getting hired because my sister worked there before I did. And so um, I applied and I didn't, maybe it's the only place I applied to, but uh, I didn't hear back from them and so it was weird. I think I even went in and checked and they said that I, that I wasn't hired. So I was, <laughs> for one thing, this is going to be the first time in this, in this video that I will mention it, um, but for one thing, I, back then when I was younger and even now, am <laughs> very, can be very sensitive um, and cry easily when it comes to being criticized or being like feeling like I'm in trouble or whatever, um, especially for no reason. But anyway, I went and they said that I wasn't, they decided like that I wasn't hired, they decided not to hire me. And uh, so I, of course, <laughs> cried, not in front of them, but I went home and cried. And my mom had me write a letter type thing to that McDonald's and the owner or the uh, the hiring manager pretty much there and ask what it was that made them not hire me so I could kind of see for the future jobs what I could change. Um, so I wrote that and sent it in the mail and I think that same night, so obviously they wouldn't have gotten it yet, the same night that I put that in the mail they called me and said that they had decided to hire me. and. Um, so I was like, oh, okay. So um, my mom and me, mainly my mom, because <laughs> she knew more about it, uh, suspected that possibly the hiring manager was possibly the reason why I didn't get hired, slash my sister working there in the past was the reason I didn't get hired, because I did put down that my sister used to work there, and I think I put her name. Um, but my sister uh, and the hiring manager back when my sister used to work there, which she didn't yet, or didn't anymore by that point because she was out of, out of high school and all that. Uh, she and the hiring manager did not get along. In fact, uh, they often had arguments and apparently uh, the hiring manager once told my sister, which was just the manager also, um, during like a shift manager and stuff too, but uh, she apparently once told my sister that if she had a daughter like her, she would kill her. So that kind of tells you how their relationship was, which is kind of crazy that a manager would tell an employee that for one thing, but anyway, we think that might have been part of the reason why I almost didn't get hired, uh, but I'm sure they quickly learned once they, after they did decide to hire me, that I was very different from my sister. <laughs> I can talk about that in another video if you want, but me and my sister, very, very different in personality. <laughs> anyway, um, so that was the first thing, and of course, like I said, I cried. That's the first story where I'm going to be telling you I'm crying, not the last one. This is another one of those points. I um, mainly was on fries, which I love doing fries. Sometimes I do counter, a couple times I did drive through, but uh, I was mainly on fries, and I loved fries. I was fast when we needed to be fast, and it was most people hated fries, but I'm glad that that was the case because I love fries. But anyway, um, because I was on fries, and fries wasn't the most important job there, uh, that was the one that if we got slow, they wouldn't need. People, somebody would be on it, they'd either let the person go home or whatever, and so often I would be, later in the night when they got slower, I would be put on lobbies, uh, which, if you don't know, is cleaning the lobby. <laughs> um, so you, there's a list of things you had to do, like clean the play place and clean the the booths and um, the drink thing, clean the, the nozzle things on the drink, uh, the fountain drink thing, <laughs> whatever it's called, machine, and, uh, and then clean the bathrooms. 
and I feel like I cleaned more than most people would clean. <laughs> Uh, there were a lot of things that I went to try to clean and I had to like really scrub because it looked like it hadn't been cleaned in like at least months, but I digress about that. Um, so I would like scrub things and try to really clean them and it would take me like a couple hours, it would take me forever and uh, one time it was like, I was supposed to be off at 10 and uh, I don't remember when I first had them checked, but there was one specific manager, not the same manager as the last, uh, the, not the hiring manager, but another manager who was us, also I think like the the uh, youngest manager, and usually I got along with this manager, except for when it came to the lobbies, and not that I didn't get along with her, I just didn't like her when it came to the lobbies. So I had her, I would have her check, and there was a specific night that this happened, but pretty much any time I did lobbies, uh, she was very particular about uh, things being like perfectly clean. I think it was a, a thing where like it was kind of on her if it wasn't perfectly clean so she wanted to like look really good and make sure that we cleaned it perfect. Uh, so there was one part that she had me go back and clean probably at least two or three times after I'd spent forever cleaning that plus everything else that I feel like I cleaned more than everybody else. I cleaned harder and more thoroughly than other, than other people would usually clean. So it ended up being, um, it was like a Thursday night, so it's a school night. I was supposed to be off at 10, and I didn't get off till I think 10.30 or something, or maybe I was supposed to be off at 9 or 9.30, whatever the case, it was at least a half hour to an hour after I was supposed to get off that I finally did get off, and she finally let me, let me leave and stuff, and I of course cried because, uh, like sometime during that process, or maybe a few times during that process, because I was cleaning like really vigorously trying to like majorly clean this and like some of the stuff was like stained but like in, in a specific like in the urinal that's the thing that she had me kept keep cleaning and like there was like a stain I think like a pee stain it was just yellow and there wasn't anything that I could do to make it come off and eventually she let me go but I was there were several tears shed by me during that process I don't know if she saw any tears at all but that definitely happened um another less sad and not teary thing that was more just annoying was uh and there were a few different things kind of like this but this one that stands out that i just remember um and it wasn't an argument i had with the person i was i'm always i've always been a very unconfrontational person i hate confrontation but uh this lady it was an older lady and i was working counter in this situation i was working the register um taking orders inside and this lady uh, came up ordered food i think she ordered it to go I'm pretty sure because uh, anytime somebody ordered a drink, if they had a tray, we were supposed to put it like face down on the tray, like upside down, and if they ordered it to go, we, we usually just put it face down on the on the counter. Um, so she, I think she ordered it to go because I just put it face down on the counter, and she's like, oh, the counter. She said something along the lines, and probably not exactly the way that I'm saying it because she wasn't like a teenager, but uh, something along the lines of, um, excuse me that you just put that on the dirty counter which it wasn't really dirty but might not have been officially clean but it wasn't like visibly dirty you just put that on the dirty counter upside down and i'm supposed to drink out of that i need a new cup and i was like okay <laughs> so i i pulled out a cup and gave her a new cup i didn't put it face down or i didn't like put on anything else i just handed it to her and uh and then when she walked she didn't say anything else took the cup and walked away to get her drink and I put the cup that I had set down on the counter face down I just put it back in the drink thing because most people don't care that it's sitting on the counter uh, so that was just <laughs> an annoying thing it's like really you're gonna be that picky it's it's McDonald's anyway uh, my fourth and final story was uh, I worked there maybe a year and a half altogether uh, I don't know if that was it board of the case I graduated from high school um, and at this point I was 18. I was actually, I, uh, my mom decided to have me, you know, that I was 18, I was out of high school, uh, she had, she suggested, and I know this is all like, oh your mom had you do that, but anyway, <laughs> that's fine. Um, uh, she had me start working at a factory that was in town, my dad worked there, my dad's since been retired, or retired from there. But they had me work there and I was going to work there for the summer and then go to school and I would work there each summer. The idea was to work there each summer uh, between school because I was going to be going to college. <coughs> and I'd be home during the summer and work there. 
and then maybe during Christmas break. I, and a side note, I despised that job, but that's that will be in my next job, <laughs> in my next story time. But she had me start working at that job, but she also suggested that I continue working at McDonald's one day a week to kind of keep my foot in the door for future stuff if I wanted to work there or whatever. So that's what I did. I uh, told them I wanted to be on like one day a week. And uh, so I was working, at, I started working or was getting ready to start working at this factory job and was planning on working one day a week at McDonald's, which I may have done one or two weeks before this happened. So that's kind of the setup. Um, so it was either one or two times, I don't remember if, if we if the schedule came out weekly or bi-weekly, but there was either once or twice where I went in and I wasn't on the schedule at all. And I think it might have been like two weeks in a row that I did this. First week I was like, well, I mean, it's only one week, maybe they just couldn't fit me in. The second week I went in and they, I still wasn't on the, on the, uh, the list at all of, like, shifts. And I'm like, okay, that's weird. So I asked them about it and, uh, they, um, they said something along the lines of, like, you don't work here anymore or something. And I'm like, okay, that's, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Um, so that's another time that I cried. I think maybe I didn't cry at the end of that point. Um, so I went outside and my mom had me make an appointment with the owner who sometimes she'd come in and, um, when we were working, she'd come in and like visit and stuff and she was always really nice. Uh, but my mom had me make an appointment with her to kind of ask her what, what happened, what was going on. And, uh, so I made an appointment and, uh, met with her on a, a uh, I don't know what day it was, but I met with her uh, at, the, at, at the store at the McDonald's that I worked at. Um, we sat down in a booth and I kind of asked her about it and I don't remember the whole conversation, but I remember um, she at some point said, well, you didn't work here very much anyway, or you didn't work very many days anyway. And I was just, <laughs> just like saying, okay, so that that's an excuse to just stop putting me on the schedule and not let me know. But I didn't say that because I'm not confrontational and I'm not that brave. So I was just like, I guess not. And uh, I think that was, I don't know, there might have been a few other things said, but that was pretty much the end of the conversation. She did say that, I mean, she's not super mean. She did say that she would um, give a good review or a good, what's the word, a good uh, recommendation if I ever needed that for, for school or for another job or something. She'd be happy to give me a good recommendation. Um, so I ended up leaving there. I don't think I said too much after that because I was trying to hold in the tears. But as soon as I walked out of the building, the tears came and um, it was just super frustrating because they had pretty much like stopped putting me on the schedule. I mean, I know I only worked one day a week, but they just randomly stopped putting me on the schedule and didn't even let me know that they were going to do that. They were like, hey, you, you only need one, more, one day a week, but we need people that need a lot of days a week, so we can't really put you on the schedule anymore. That would have been, and be like, oh, okay, well, it's, okay. <laughs> Which I didn't really want to work two jobs anyway, but it was just kind of poopy the way they did it. Um, and uh, as a final note, like a PS to that, uh, that story, I went in, I think the next time I went into McDonald's just to get food or something, and um, my friend, Brian was working there, I can say his name, it's no big deal. Uh, my friend Brian was working at McDonald's and uh, I said something like, he was like, oh, I haven't seen you in a while or something, I don't remember how the conversation started, but he ended up saying, um, yeah, they said you quit, and I was like, they said I quit? And he's like, yeah, and I was like, no, I didn't quit, they pretty much fired me. <laughs> so that was the end of that story. Um, I'm trying to try to do these every week. Uh, probably on Tuesdays every week. I don't know when I'll record them, but that doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to try to upload these on Tuesdays every week, and I'll go from job to job. But that was my first job, and some of the stories for my first job. So, um, I hope you enjoyed. Please, uh, thumbs up, and comment below about your first job was. Um, I'd love to hear what your first job was below. Um, and uh, subscribe if you want to hear more stories or want to see some things that happen in my daily life. Uh, I have video, or I have vlogs and story times now up on this video, um, up on this channel. Uh, but let me know 
uh, story times or other videos that you'd like to hear and I will see you in my next video.